Alright, what's up guys? I'm going to try and make this video kind of quick, so we're just going to get straight into it. We're going to start a new composition. I'm going to be teaching you how to do the uh, lightsaber effect on Hit Film Express. So basically, we're going to go to Media, Import a Video. Mine's going to be Kylo Mini Saber. From there, we're going to create a composite shot and just leave it. Actually, we're going to name it Light Sword. Wow, my computer is very loud. Yes, okay, so light sword. Now that we have that, we're going to drag our video over here. And then now we can see it. Okay. So now that that's there, we're going to add a new layer and make sure it's a plane. I'm going to label it main light because uh, Kylo has three sources of light on his lightsaber since um, it's broken. So. Uh, yeah, that's it. So from there, we're gonna add an effect and be careful with this because you could end up clicking the wrong one. So make sure it's not the add on layer, make sure you use a two point auto glow layer or not glow, but yeah. All right, from there, now that we see this, we're gonna go all the way down. We're gonna uh, click on effects, click on this arrow right next to light sword. We're gonna go down the blend and put none. So now we can see it. I'm gonna um, make the inner glow smaller so then I can see just the saber more because that will help me. And basically, we're gonna go to uh, where the saber starts, which is uh, where it ignites, right there. So we're gonna start. Oop. This is mainly the hardest part is just lining everything up and getting it looking good. So that is a little bit off, so I need to fix it. So now that we have that, we're just going to go to Hilt, click Position, go to Tip, click Position, and now those are on, and we are tracking our light source. And then from there, we go frame by frame. I'm sure there's probably another way to do it, but I go frame by frame because I like to see what I'm doing. Really make sure I get it um, where I want it to be. So I need to make sure, yeah, it's very weird, so I need to make sure it's right, right on it, pretty much, and then you just, you have to follow wherever this goes, or it will look very strange, so like, yeah, and try to make each frame look the same, um, because then it'll keep the continuity and it will look it will look like it's just the same lightsaber moving across so you just keep tracking it and see how it got shorter it's very strange it shouldn't really get that much shorter I don't think so it needs to look pretty similar the whole time so that's really mainly the hard part um I'll go a little bit of ways, and then we'll see what we have, and then I'll I'll show you how to do the other stuff, and then I'll just show you the video I already made. So let's uh, see what we have so far. I'm actually gonna cut this out really quick. So let's make sure go right to where yeah go right to the frame of where it starts, and then we're gonna use this little cut tool right here. Make sure it's um, the effect that you're cutting. And we're going to delete that. So now now we don't see the light source until I want to see the light source. See how it got shorter? So something, something, something might have gone wrong here. Or it could just be um, how it's supposed to be. No, see, I, I made it too long. That can happen. Um, yeah. Sometimes you just make make it too long, so even if you have to make it a little bit shorter at first and then adjust it, that's probably better than making it too long and then it coming in. See, so with this, this is about where it actually is, and then what can cover it, it's like how much glow and everything you use um, around the saber, so that helps a lot. Okay, so now that I've si fixed that, to an extent, um, it looks 
pretty close to the same length of a saber the whole time. So let's see if this helped anything. Yeah, that looks better. So, it's pretty much what you do with this. This has a practice tool and just, um, I guess impress your friends if they don't know how to do this or something. I don't know. Whatever you want to do. But yeah, so first off, we're going to go back to this really quick. And we're going to make the inner glow bigger again. Because I want to. But not not too big. I made it too big when I made my video. Then we're going to make it red. Because that's his lightsaber color. So now that we have it red, looks like this. Looks kind of nice. I like to leave the flicker. So there's this, this is right here, the flicker and stability. Maybe you can move the stability around a little bit, but flicker would keep about the same and rely on the distortion right here to uh, give that effect to your lightsaber. See, that's just with a little bit of distortion, but for Kylo, you need a lot because this lightsaber is pretty wonky. It's pretty messed up, dude. But it looks cool. Um, maybe even more, my goodness. It's such a small saber, so it's, it's weird. But yeah, you can see it a little bit right there. Is it because it's not turned on? I don't Yeah, but um, you can see that maybe if you make the glow a bit bigger, it's more prominent. Yeah, anyway, that's uh, pretty much all you do. Um, I will switch over to the video I've already made before. Okay, so I've opened up the video I've previously done with all of the adjustments. As you can see all the different shots and everything. So I'm gonna take a look at that really quick. See how there's more distortion and everything. Now this side's a little messed up and you can see this is a little bit tilted, but that's just me trying to figure it out. But yeah, so it's pretty much uh, all you do. And then you add your sound effect and line everything up um, and usually you'll have better lighting than this but I it's just a video I made because I was bored and I wanted to add this effect since I found it um, so yeah uh, I'm sure there's probably other tutorials out there that you can watch if you want to know more information about this but I hope this is um, a basic little thing that you can watch you can uh, and just learn how to do this you can turn other things off, like if I don't want to see certain things at a time, you can turn that off. Yeah, it's just it's cool. You get to see different different parts of it. I would never use editor for um, stuff like this though. Oh, well, not never. I don't know, but I just as editor I think you're probably limited to some things this might be good just for if you're editing just a video um without like a lot of effects but I don't know I know this worked for me this is how I learned how to do it so that helps that helped me so yeah that's the full thing and uh if you guys end up making this then uh please send me your videos because that'd be cool to see what everybody else was doing um and honestly just like how you progress over time would be cool to see because i know i'm gonna keep working at it and hopefully try and make more videos with like probably a bigger lightsaber because that would help but um just try different effects and maybe do um other types of videos too so yeah anyway i will let you guys go i hope you enjoyed Yes, I'm using bandy cam because that's all I got. I don't know what else to use, but yeah. So I really hope you guys um, enjoy this. I hope it helps and that uh, yeah, you have a fun time doing this because it's it was fun editing. It's very tedious, but um, when you get a video that you like and then other people are starting to like it, even if they don't, if you're proud of it, just you know, be proud that you learned something new. 
um, and just keep working at it. Peace out.